I know, you've heard it all before. The stereotypical ADHD of you can't sit still and you're constantly fidgeting and moving about the place. Growing up, one thing that I truly loved was movies. I always wanted to sit back and enjoy movies, but there was one thing stopping me. Now this is gonna sound like an excuse, but ADHD. Right here, I'm showing you a list of all the movies and TV shows that I've started to try and watch by myself and never been able to finish them and I've just got distracted by something else. And I want you guys to know, I'm 27. This is a no new TikTok thing of where, you know, I've got a short attention span and I'm scrolling on my phone because of other distractions in the world. This happened when I was younger and the only phone that we had was a flip up phone. Maybe I was playing Snake, but this wasn't any new thing. This was me and this was a struggle I had until I met a man. And just like anyone else who's met a man, my life changed. Now this wasn't your stereotypical man. This man watched a lot of movies and a lot of TV shows and read a lot of books. He is what we call a nerd. I always thought I am a nerd myself, but I could never consume books, TV shows and movies like everyone else could and the information wouldn't always stick. But I was a nerd in other ways. So I talked to this man and yes, there may be a bit of flirtation in there, planting the seeds. And I told him my problem about starting movies and TV shows and not being able to finish them. So he muttered the words to me bet and the next day he sat me down and we watched a movie called whiplash and yes we may have had to pause it a few times and yes he may have to look at me and be like you're not on your phone are you but we made it to the end of the movie and can i just say that is one of my favorite movies to this day not just because it was one of my first movies that i got all the way through but whiplash is an incredible movie and anyone who's watched it will know and it's actually kind of ironic that this movie was a young drummer and a teacher it's all about obsession and perfectionist and the teacher keeps pushing and pushing him you're probably thinking well why did this change is it because you fancied the guy and wanted to watch the movie for him? No. But yes. <laughs> it was the realisation that I couldn't pause it. It was a realisation that someone was watching it with me. I couldn't go on my phone because he was watching me. I couldn't rewind it 10 seconds and say that I wasn't listening. I had to listen. What? And this was a technique called body doubling. Body doubling is a productive strategy used by individuals with ADHD where they work alongside another to increase focus and motivation. The presence of another person who may be working on their own task helps the individual with ADHD stay on track and reduce the likelihood of distractions. So because I had this guy on camera next to me body doubling me, it made me focus on the task because I couldn't stray away because I'll be letting other people down. And if there's one thing you need to know about ADHD people, they don't like letting people down. We disappoint you. So, I was cured. Goodbye ADHD. I mean, this only really works when he's there and it makes me rely on him, but. <laughs> I have watched more movies in the last two years when I've been with my boyfriend than I have in my entire life before I met him. Here's a list of just some of the movies that we have watched in the last two years. The Fool, incredible movie. On the edge of your seat, very simple, two girls at the top of a tower, stranded. I like those sort of movies. All of the Marvel movies, we watched every single one from start to finish, and now I'm a Marvel girl. I always wanted to be a Marvel girl, but couldn't watch them all because there was just too much in front of me. And Iron Man is my favorite. Silence of the Lambs. Now, I never watched a horror movie before meeting him, and I am now a horror slash thriller kind of girl. Silence of the Lambs, one of my favorite movies now. Followed up shortly by Saw, always wanted to watch it, absolutely terrified of it, but I sat there and enjoyed the concept of Saw. Wait, that sounds weird. All of the John Wick movies, never thought I'll be a John Wick girl. <laughs> now I'm a John Wick girl. We watched the last one in the cinema and oh my god, that is such a cinema movie. Incredible. <laughs> All the Creed movies, also watch the last Creed in cinema as well. This is another thing, I could never sit in a cinema. The stress of sitting in an upright seat, not being able to go and pause it whenever I wanted to, not needing to pee, it was a stressful time for me. But I'm enjoying cinemas now. The Martian, one of my favourite movies of all time, probably my top three movies. The Martian is incredible. 10 out of 10, it's up there. And another top three movies of mine, The Seven. Incredible thriller. Cast Away with Tom Hanks, we went through a little Tom Hanks phase. I love movies around beach and survival, and that brings me to the beach with Leonardo DiCaprio. Both of those movies, Castaway and The Beach, yeah. Then we went on a little bit of a war film. I love war films. I've actually watched a few war films by myself, but there was a few that we missed off. Fury, 
incredible actually probably one of my top favorite war films which i know might be a bit as it goes with war films people don't really like fury that much which i was surprised with also watching glorious bastards and world war z both amazing watch the mist which my boyfriend actually fell asleep at tables turned for the last bit of the ending he already knew the ending but that ending man i couldn't sleep after that we also watch a movie called tusk and that's all i have to say on tusk that traumatized me it was incredible but incredibly just disgraceful i don't know how to feel about tusk and very closely to tusk is midsummer i don't know how to feel about tusks and midsummer they are crazy obviously we watched oppenheimer and barbie around the same time incredible movies everyone's talked about those but the fact is i sat through oppenheimer with no breaks i deserve a round of applause and then he introduced me to not only Galaxy Quest, which is mad that I didn't watch because I had Alan Rickman in it, Galaxy Quest and Starship Troopers. I was like, why would I want to watch these? But these are incredible movies. Starship Troopers is up there in my top five. The same with Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest just, I love the nerdiness of Galaxy Quest so much. I am so sorry that I'm so late to all of this. We are currently watching all of the X-Men's Wolverine, Deadpool, ready for Deadpool 3. I love the X-Men way more than I love the Avengers which I don't know if that's controversial or not and I know I'm so late to this all <laughs> I can't stress that enough I'm aware Vivarium messed up movie one of my greatest fear is like a day repeating itself or something like a long corridor repeating itself if you want a movie that makes you feel sick watch that one and then I'm just gonna list off these last one Ricky Stanicki catch me if you can don't look up total recall phone booth iRobot and so many more the list is incredible I feel like we've watched over definitely a hundred movies and not even to mention TV shows. I watched all the uploads for the first time. I watched the entire series of Supernatural, which is a long, long series. Dean and Crowley. Mwah. Future Bakey here. I forgot to mention the boys. I can't wait to watch that new season. And then to wrap this off as well, Game of Thrones. Never watched it before. Ten years later, watched it for the first time. One of the best TV shows ever. I'll probably do another video actually on Game of Thrones itself because it's very different watching it for the first time ten years later after all the hype and people being like, well, the ending. But I'm like, what have I missed out on? But, however, I am a lot better than I used to be, but I've still got a lot of way to go. I still get confused by linear plots. I still vocalise all my questions to him. Luckily, he's watched all these movies before. Only a few he hasn't, so he can explain to me and keep on top of it. A lot of the time, I give him a question and he's like, have you watched a movie before? It will get explained, but I need to know now. And there are still some movies that we are too afraid to tackle, and he will not sit through with me. For example, Inception, Interstellar, and Tenet. Which actually is weird because they're all by Christopher Nolan. But am I cured? No. <laughs> Will I ever be cured? No. But we found a little solution. Just, you know, you've got to find someone to fall in love with. And that will pop with you. No, but body doubling has definitely saved me a lot. So if you have any friends or family, or even get a pre-recorded video of someone, then you can watch a movie and have ADHD. We've got a long way to go, but I feel like I probably could sit through half a movie now, whereas before I could only sit through about 10 minutes of a movie. Am I cured? Let me know in the comments down below, and let me know if there's any movies out there that you guys can't sit through. I'm always looking for movie suggestions as well, so put those also in the comments down below. I love thriller, survival, movies that make you think, but generally I love everything now, which is mad. Whoa, I actually aren't against any movie genres. I hope you guys enjoyed this different style of video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more videos from me, and I'll see you very, very soon with another one. Bye!